Okay. This is not an attempt on my part to convert anyone. I just want people to think about it logically because I never really thought about it myself either. Um, and being a logical person, someone who literally deals in logic every single day of my life with my work job, whether it's programming, numbers, IT, trying to figure things out. Um, I don't know why I didn't put this together before, but when I hear people uh, make fun of Christians for believing in Sky Daddy, <laughs> right? And say that, um, you know, Jesus isn't real when we all know historically this man existed, right? If if Jesus didn't exist, then who did Pontius Pilate tell the Pharisees and the Sadducees, do with him as you wish, right? Who did he speak about? Who was he talking about? Second, if Jesus didn't exist, why would a group of men claimed that he did and then they all died except for one who was banished to an island St. Andrews I never understood why you know a lot of things in Scotland had St. Andrews right I thought maybe he was a priest that got converted you know um, but no it, it St. Andrew goes back to Andrew the apostle of Jesus Christ you have to, like, like, I was, like, blown by that, okay? But lastly, but not least, one of the reasons why I believe in Jesus Christ and that he died for us is because I can't fathom how someone and come into this world, someone that you don't even know, a complete stranger, and tell you that there is an afterlife and it doesn't matter what you have done. I'm going to die for you so that you don't go to hell. <laughs> Sounds crazy, right? It sounds like a nut job. <laughs> but then I had to think about it in terms I had to think about it in a situation where it's a reality. In his mind, and in God's mind, he knows that there is a day when everyone will have to face him and be judged, right? But in a lot of people's mind, they don't believe it because they don't think that they actually will ever come. And then I'm like, even if you think he is crazy, right? Imagine if this was in real life and you probably murdered someone, stole something, um, um, had sexual immorality, uh, was an adulterer. And, you know, at one point in history, we really did have people who had really harsh judgments for such activities, right? Now imagine... <laughs> if someone said, excuse me, judge, excuse me, I don't know this person, right? I don't know them at all, but I'm willing to die and take their place. It doesn't matter what judgment you hand down to them. If, they, if what they did is deserving of death, if what they did was deserving of a life imprisonment, if what they did was deserving of their hand being chopped off, I am willing to have that punishment be brought upon me. The only thing I require is for this person to believe in me. That's all I require. I'm gonna tell you right now, <laughs> if I was one of these individuals that was brought before a judge and some random ass crazy person came up and said, hey judge, I'm willing to take everything that this person's about to go through, 
I will fall to his feet and be like, I don't know who the hell you are, but anything, anything you ask for me, I will do it. I will do it. I don't give a damn what it is, <laughs> right? <laughs> but if we did that, if we had that knowledge, or if we had that scenario, the only reason why we would do such a thing is because, because we know that judge is real. We know us standing in that courtroom is real. We know that whatever punishment we're about to receive from the judge is real. That's the only reason why we would ever bend to the knee to this crazy man who's willing to say, I will take up your sins. And anyone who sits here and says, nah, fuck that, <laughs> fuck that. Send me to jail, lock me up, throw away the key, put me in the ground. I'll be like, bitch, you lie. <laughs> like, be like, uh, <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> be like, there ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. You might have someone who might be, get the electric chair, right? And if a crazy person says, I will take the electric chair, you'll be like, oh, oh my God, right? <laughs> And if you had any humility um, in accepting this man's um, gift to you, you would turn away from all that wickedness so that you're never in that position again, or at least try to, right? You know what I'm saying? So if people got into their minds that, hey, there is this afterlife when you die, that damnation actually is real. I think they would think twice whether or not Jesus is fake and <laughs> Jesus isn't real. So, um, you know, sometimes people, I, I think a lot of people think that God is so gracious that it doesn't matter what you do, that everyone's going to be accepted into heaven. That's not it. That's not true at all. God is very selective about who can enter his kingdom very selective and there's times I gotta watch myself or like I have to tell myself what would Jesus do God knows there's times I want to be a Peter and I'm talking about Peter before <laughs> I'm talking about the Peter with the slice slice of the ear okay there's so many times I want to be like Peter <laughs> but I gotta like I gotta ring, ring it in, right? Um, but I think um, I don't want to see anyone go to hell. I don't want to see anyone get their be damned, their souls be damned. I don't. But. God is like that parent who doesn't want you to do wrong, but he knows that you are. So he gives you a way out. He literally does. He says, believe in my son. Try to do better. Try not to sin anymore. Um, if you can, speak to those who want to also hear that they may also be saved, right? I think that's really all he wants. And I really hope that one day people really see that not everyone's going to enter to heaven. And I think when they realize that Maybe they'll just move about life in a different way that's more godly, that's more connecting them to, you know, the way that Jesus walked. But it's just, I don't know, it's something that just really clicked in my mind. He might have been a crazy man. And I actually think to a lot of people, he was crazy. They probably thought he needed to be locked up in an insane asylum. Because I, I, like, I'm sorry, I probably would have cried thinking that somebody 
would take all my punishment and I don't even know who they are. I'm mad at me, <laughs> I don't know who the hell they are, but that's enough to make me, that's enough to make me cry and do anything he asked me. So for those who don't believe, what would you do if you were in trouble and someone asked you, and someone told you, hey, all you gotta do is believe in me and your sins are forgiven, I'll take all your punishment. Would you take that or would you still think this man crazy and lean on to your, your own understanding of whether or not you will be saved? But, you know, that's all I gotta say for today. All I gotta say.